recently God showed himself in my life because in my English class every day we have to read for 15 minutes um, whatever book we want a leisure book we can read about anything and then we start our class so I think about two weeks ago I came into class I was in like a rush and I didn't have a book to read so I went to my teacher's library and I was looking for a book I'm gonna tell it myself you know I kind of was looking for a romance novel right and so there was this book and it's, it was called I Kiss Dating Goodbye but I thought that it still might be about I don't know what I thought it was gonna be about so I grabbed the book and I just sat down at my seat but when I got to my seat and I flipped over the book to read the synopsis it was saying um, how to reorder or cleanse your romance life according to God's Word so I was like, oh, I see what you did here, God. All right, I'll read this book for 15 minutes, then I'll put it back on the shelf. But um, in those 15 minutes, and I started reading, I really enjoyed the book. I'm, I'm naturally a reader. I enjoy reading. But the book was really awesome. And it was, the thing about the book is that it wasn't just like, don't do this, don't do this, don't do this. But like, he would tell a story, the book, like it would tell a story about a relationship. And then it would point out, like all the problems in it and then it would align it with the scriptures for like what God says and it and the book wasn't like you know you shouldn't do this because like I don't know the way that it was worded it made sense and it was really eye-opening for me I still haven't finished it. it's like one chapter I'm like one chapter away from finishing it and um, I was saying that the, the I think the most impactful thing that I've learned while reading the book it was a chapter about purity and it was saying that you know in our society they basically say that you know or a lot of people think that if you don't have sex then you're pure but the book was saying that purity is a direction it's not a specific line that you can't cross that the direction of your life should be pure the things that you do the way that you behave you know you should be behaving modestly you know and presenting yourself in a pure way and so you know you always think like well I haven't done this so I'm good but the book was just saying you don't want to even go down that road you don't want to um, play with sin or flirt with the line at all and um, there was a quote and it was saying something about how God is not impressed with your um, ability to withstand temptation he's impressed by your obedience to run from it and so you know, a lot of times we think, well, you know, I was in a situation, but I didn't do anything, or I just, but the book was just saying, you know, don't put yourself in situations to be tempted, you know, or don't even play with it at all. Literally move your life in a direction where everything about you is pure, and that you're so far away from sin that you can't even see it. You know, there are some things in life I feel like you can't control, you can't always control your surroundings, but there are a lot of things that we are in control of, and if anything we can control ourselves and so the book was just really talking about and going into detail about being pure and wisdom and that you don't always have to explain yourself to people when you know they want to know why aren't you doing this or why aren't you doing that you don't have to argue or say you know oh well, I do this or you know try to preach to them but your best example is your life itself and that we are walking business cards so what we do is a representation of Christ you know through and through and so that that's what the book has been discussing and it was it's really awesome I kept the book I told my teacher about the book and you know she's gonna let me keep it and I was saying I'm gonna you know let some um, other sisters read it because it's really been a powerful book and it just showed that God sees me you know he does little things sometimes to let you know that in this big world with all these people he sees you and you're important and he has a plan for your life and so I was just so thankful for that